Do 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 do. I Joshi playing new Cybot. Who am I gonna get? Are we gonna go at Fujin again? Three three games in a row. We got Kotal Khan. Like I mentioned in the last video, Kotal Khan has been one of the characters that that has risen the most recently as one of the most fun characters that I've played. Just because he looks so fucking brutal when he does things, he's he. Kind of like Jackson MKX, you feel when Kotal Khan hits you. And I got the uh, variation that I actually know how to play, so hopefully I don't lose. Okay, that is one thing his fucking the range on that sucks. Ah! On your knees. Now watch out. Gimmicks. Yes. If he would have actually been mashing on his fatal blow, that would have gotten me. Give me that trade. That was a good punish, actually. On your knees. I can't believe they took that away from Kotal Khan. I know they don't technically get on their knees anymore, but still. Okay, his grab range is, uh, leaves him out of that, too. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's go, baby. Woo. That was actually really smart of him to get away from me like that. But he didn't take advantage of it. He didn't take advantage of it. He couldn't close it out. All right. Let's do this. Kota the Destroyer. This is definitely my favorite Kota Khan skin for sure. I mean, I like Ashy Larry. Don't get me wrong. But this Kotal Khan skin right here. Whoops. Fucking. Uh, on a Kotal the Barbarian. What the hell am I talking about? The Destroyer. <laughs> Damn, this guy is mashing like crazy, man. Ooh, good uh, button presses right there. Oh, what? That is all fucking rollback right there. You guys saw it. It, it sounded like I hit him, but he blocked it. I didn't want to do that. Hmm, I don't think there's anything I can do to punish that in that situation. Shit is getting close. Ah, oh, fuck, I pressed the button. Nice. Well, he had already used it? What? I ran into his fucking grab. Yeah, he got me. He got me. He, he played well in that second game. He got me. 
I think I, uh, I played it a little bit too casually here. I was not on point like I was in that first game. I was not aware of my surroundings. I kept getting hit by dumb things. I kept just doing autopilot. Kotal Khan stuff. I should have thought about the game a little bit more than I did, and now I might lose because now I might actually get a character that I don't know how to play. All right. Shang Tsung's oh man, Universe. I really wanted to close it out with Kotal Khan, but I got too too cocky. Ooh, hold up. We got the one character that I could get, and everything is going to be okay. <laughs> Alright, that's Fight. what I'm talking about. Oh god, not if I get whiff punish like that, though. Fucking rollback, man. Ah, oh, shit. Now he decides to break or to air escape. I want this crushing blow. No, sir, you cannot do that. Ah, oh, shit. Here, have some of that. Everything's gonna be okay when I get the cowboy. Especially when he's wearing red. Uh, drop kick to the face. Drop kick to the face. Let's go. Ah, oh, shit. Nice down two. I should have just kept on going with back two. Ah, oh, I thought he was gonna... Oh, that sucks. Alright. Well, you know what? I'm gonna give him the friendship just because it's very unfortunate that he... That I... That I got Aaron Black in the, uh, in the random character select. Unfortunate for him. Because I think if I would have gotten a character that I didn't know how to play, he probably would have whooped my ass. So, I guess fortunately for me, unfortunate for him, that I got the one character where everything's going to be alright. Oh my god. The final match of random character select in combat league. Don't worry, I'll do some more random character select in the future, but I find that, in my opinion, in this game, random character select is a lot more interesting when I actually play player matches because... I could create three different variations that I want or like two different variations that I want to play with the character that don't have competitive moves and it's just like variations that I want to play with. Usually what, what I did in the last random select that I did was I made two variations that were good and one variation that absolutely sucked and that's what I was rocking with. So. Once I once I get my fill into the DLC characters, all that, I'll probably do some more. But we got Noob Cybot! And we got, uh, we actually got the variation the last guy was using. What the hell, man? I forgot how to play with this variation. <laughs> I don't know how to play with anything that's not the sickle snag. Alright. Fight. I wonder if he has on your knees. Oh, what was it? Okay, that's what it is. On your knees. Yeah, I was having a hard time punishing... Punishing that with Kotal Khan, so... I'll probably keep on doing it, unless he has a way of punishing it. Hmm, 
what's he gonna do here is the question. Nice. I'll meter burn this. Because I really do not care. I really do not care to spend any meter. Because I knew that I was gonna get that game. Oh my god. Whoops. That's what it was. I'll take this crushing blow though. That was not a punish, I was just not blocking. On your knees. Okay, one back one and it's over. Ooh, that was so close. Oh, they meter burn it. Oh my god. I know that he wants to do forward two. I knew this. So I neutral jump one so I could punish him, land it behind him. But when I got to him, I was actually too late. So he got his damn four out. But luckily we traded because I used my back one. <sighs> the smart thing to do was to use forward two in that situation. Because he was still like in the animation of his move forward two has an amazing range. But me, like, forward dashing and trying to do back one actually one. caused me to get that trade. On your knees. Yeah, I knew it was coming. I said it preemptively. Here, have this guy. Oh, no, I don't want that trade. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> that was unintentional. This is what I want her to do. <laughs> That's what I want her to do. I don't know if that's a good stagger or not. I just did it. <laughs> What's 1-1? One, one? Oh, it's minus 5 on block. So if he's not like... If he's not ready with that down 1, then... Hey, the stagger's not good. I just fucking did it. On your knees. Oh shit. Damn, man, that extra damage because I was in the sun ray. And the extra damage because he was already powered up. Juiced up already. Okay, still combo, that's good. Oh no. I thought he was going to come in. Oh god, I got to sneeze. I was this close to air escaping. But realistically, looking at the life, and also if he would have just done a down 2, it would have been over. I didn't think he was going to do an up 2. I thought he was going to do an up 3. Oh, I completely forgot I have fucking Ghost Ball. That's like my good projectile. Some people are like, they're probably like, use fucking ghost ball, what are you doing? Oh my god, that was so smart. Yep, I'm pressing buttons. See, that's what happens when you press buttons, guys. That's what... That's what happens when you press buttons on wake up like an idiot. You get fucking counter hitted. I did it twice. Twice. Why can't I close it out with one fucking character? I did it twice. I try to wake up, press buttons. Wake up back one, wake up stand one. 
and I got fucked for it. That was stupid. All right, who are we gonna get? Aaron Black ain't gonna save the day this time, baby. <laughs> Aaron Black ain't here to save the day again. So who's gonna save the day this time? Ah, oh, this is Katana, but it's the uh, it's the Molina variation, right? I hate this variation. It's just so boring, and I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use it. You have advice for the new con? Keep allies close, enemies closer. How close should I keep you? Round one. All right. Fight. Yeah, I don't know how to use this variation, so I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked. Ah oh, man, I'm not pre I'm not fucking blocking. That's not me like not pressing bu or pressing buttons. This is not not blocking. See, I don't know how to how to make that like connect completely. Yeah, I can't trade those. That's what I wanted. Come on. <laughs> Fucking invincibility on wake up. Not not invincibility as in invincible up to. It's just when characters get up in this game, they have 23 frames of invincibility no matter what. And that Round fucked me up right there. Fight. I should have gotten him. But instead, I got fucked up. That's some bullshit, man. I wanted to do up three. Come on. Whoops. Nice. I got a little bit too. Ugh. Oh, come on, really? <sighs> Try to time it. That didn't do it. I, did I did I mention that I hate this this variation? Did I mention that I hate this variation? I think I did, right? As soon as I saw that it was this specific variation, I knew it was over. I don't even know how to make the katanas hit. I don't or I don't even know how to make the uh, the her fans hit like completely. Whenever I do a combo string, I have n well, I don't want to say never. Well, yeah, I have never willingly. Taking this variation in training mode for more than a minute just to like know how to do a specific move. And I thought that maybe doing the razor blade like the uh, the slash would actually finish it. But nope, it left him with a tiny bit of health. And then he woke up up, up three this time. And I wasn't ready for it. I really did not think he was going to wake up because he still had another round to go. I'm like, there's no way he's going to wake up. And yeah, he did. But what really fucked me up, honestly, was the wake up up three that he did in the first game. After that, I was like, man, this is probably over. The invincibility frames of this stupid ass game when when characters get up because of all the, the, the many ways to get up. Delay wake up, forward roll, back roll, wake up up three. All that like makes it for this game to have like 20 something frames of invincibility for n no reason while the character's getting up. Oh man. 
Unfortunately, we're gonna have to end it on a loss, but the positive thing is I don't have to play Combat League anymore. I'm very happy about that. So thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here and thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. And if you wanna see some more, there's videos popping up on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.